Hey guys, how's it going? You know what time of the year it is, right? It's election time. It's a special time of the year when Americans get to vote on which candidate they want as their next president of the United States. On one hand, you have your Joe Biden, and on the other hand, you have your Donald Trump. You also have some other candidates, like uh, apparently Kanye West. I will fucking laser you. Hey, good morning, Kanye. <laughs> And uh, also Joe Jorgensen. Um, here's the part where I'm supposed to make like the joke about how it's a JoJo's reference and make fun of people who make JoJo's reference, but that means I'm actually doing the thing I'm making fun of, so I'm kind of like uh, really fucking annoying. <laughs> Anyway, so if you ask me, all these candidates are kind of retarded, and the only candidate worth voting for, with my power and my knowledge, I can determine the best candidate would be me. Now, you're probably thinking, But Aaron, what will you do for America? And the answer to that is, uh, not much. But also, here are my top three reasons as to why you should vote for me. Number ten, you should vote for me because I'm really cool. Number ten... Wait, I did that. Number five, you should vote for me because I'm really swag and or awesome sauce. And lastly, number one, uh, you should vote for me because I am the best candidate. Now, if that was not enough to convince you to vote for me, uh, first of all, you're retarded. Second of all, here are a few of my takes on some policies. First, let's talk about abortion. Now, abortion, some people are pro-life. They believe that you should never abort a baby. Some people are pro-choice and think you should have the right to abort a baby. Uh, and then some people are like in the middle and they think you should only abort half the baby and you should just saw it in half. Personally, though, I'm anti-life, and I think every single baby should be aborted. In fact, you know what? No, no, no. Let's cut things off right before it becomes a problem. That was a poor choice of words. Let's make it so sex is just straight up illegal. That would just solve so many problems. You see, if we make sex illegal, we never have to have the abortion discussion again. It's just, it's just so simple. And before somebody starts to claim that, hey, maybe the population will start to decline, and maybe that's a problem, um, yeah, yeah, that's kind of the point. You see, if we make sex illegal, we no longer have to worry about any more annoying kids running around. It's so, it's just such, it, this is the best policy. It just is. Next, let's discuss immigration. So, I believe immigration should be mandatory because there's this really annoying stereotype that Americans are fat and lazy and they just eat junk food all day. But, like, I think if we were constantly moving, we'd gain enough muscles where we can just step on that idea and step on that stereotype vigorously. Next, let's talk about the the police. So, if somebody decides to break any of the laws, or threatens the government, or speaks out against the government in any way, we kill them on the spot using our elite death squad. Next, let's talk about police brutality. If America claims to be a free society, that's kind of hypocritical when we have police brutality, meaning that our citizens are not free from being oppressed by the police. And I don't think that's good. So, in order to keep with American traditions, and also in order to prevent any hypocrisy or contradictions from happening, I've decided that we will no longer be claiming to be a free society. Now, sadly, the election has to be so political this year, I kind of wish they could just, like, keep politics out of my election, but... I digress. I'm just trying to grill, man. Anyway, so as all of you can see, I am the perfect president for office, and you should go vote for me. Anyways, without further ado, uh, have a good night, everybody, and, uh, yeah. G goodbye. I'm gonna kill you. Lyrics coming at you with supersonic speed. Uh,